Jesus. Put a bit of gusto into it, Ryan. Tell I did that bolt up, eh? <laughs> I lock tied it. Did you actually? <laughs> no. <laughs> It's actually pretty easy getting your odor off, eh? It is, eh? When you're, yeah. when you're watching, yeah. yeah. Wait, look at this. It's off. Yeah. Didn't even have to do oh, much. Oh, yeah, now. Oh. There you go. How, how warm is that? Oh, yeah. Bit of wear. Huh? Well, you said they weren't too bad. No, well, they're a bit bad. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's the noise I'm hearing. Yeah. How did you do that in 20,000 kilometers, Tom? 20, 26,000 Ks. 27,900, it's got a lot of Pads, rotors, and bearings. You've been going down the Laney Range every day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll go get some new ones. You excited, Ryan? Oh, yeah, mate. Make sure you lube those up, too. You lube the disc up with inox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so catches, I don't like good brakes, mate. So it catches fire. You can tell I don't like good brakes. He's got all the tricks to the trade, this bloke. Were these ones cooked? Yep. Oh. They're, they're still all right. We'll chuck them back on. Well, I'd probably <laughs> keep them for spares. Yeah. These are wrong, mate. It says SUV. That's all right. You've got a bit of lube for these things, mate. <laughs> a pair of multi-grips? Yeah, they're inside, right? Stop being See Ryan's car. Look at this. He reckons that his wheels and tyres are fine. Look how much better that looks. It looks better, eh? Yeah. Put a pole up on the video, Tom. So Ryan's yeah, done yeah, new I pads and rotors. How sick do they look? He's done them in record timing. It's been about 30 minutes. Uh, it's going to brake a lot better now. So literally about to start on that, and we thought we'd check the rear brakes. Because this thing's had some braking issues for a while, but pulled the drums off, and the actual drum itself is stuffed. The shoes are completely worn, they're all scratched up. So Ryan's actually taken the drums now to get machined and we're going to replace the shoes as well but we're just going to quickly clean it all up and then um, we can finally get stuck into the patrol. Right, guys, so in the last episode we obviously painted the patrol and uh, it still looks sick, it turned out absolutely insane i'm so happy with that um, as you all know i've said it a million times i love it so what i've managed to do through the week because we have had some rain is um i just made it all weatherproof again so i put all the rubbers back on put these trims back on um this rubber here and just like tidied it up a little bit and this weather strip here so it's completely waterproof so i got a lot of the tedious little stuff done but today what we're actually doing is putting all of what you can see here back on the patrol um, but firstly, I need to paint all of the grill because this is like a sort of a gray. I want this to be satin black. I need to paint the fenders, the back parts, the window wipers. I'm planning on tinting the orange in the blinker, um, the blinkers over there. And then we've also got these new mirrors here. These are just a cheap plastic one, but they're, they're like sort of a gray. They're not really black. So I did want to paint them as well. So we've got plastic primer and we've got plastic bumper paint for all of that. Um, like I showed you just before, the nav's getting a brake overhaul because they were completely stuffed. So kind of sucks because it's expensive, but brakes are the only thing that stops your car. So that needs doing. I'm going to start with painting this sort of stuff here just so that can dry off. Um, I need to put that cowling back on. I got a brand new bonnet protector. You guys have already seen the lights, but if you haven't, I'll show you. Got to put these headlights on. I got heaps of paint. All right, so I think it's time to just dive into the patrol. Otherwise, we're gonna be here all day. We've got some bad weather on its way, so hopefully that doesn't catch us out. But hopefully we can get the headlights on, we can get the grill painted, all the trim back on and painted. Most of the interior. I got the door locks and handles powder coated so I can put them on. And we do have our mint black snorkel that I'm super excited to show. Um, but that can get put back on as well and it'll start looking like a car again because we're not far away from starting to fab up a tray which means she's back out on the road
rubbed down, sanded, and uh, we first need to hit it with a plastic primer so the paint adheres to the plastic. It's actually really hard to paint plastic, so um, I always just use Scotch Bright and then a plastic primer and then you paint, and it just it seems to work a lot better. I have used just paint and then you get like fish eyes and all that in the paint. So this should work, and um, it's time to prime. Time to prime. Time to prime, mate. We are going to black out this Nissan badge too because I can't get it off, so it's just it's getting black. Check that out. Freshly machined. So I got new shoes going in. The nav's gonna stop on a dime now. Thanks to Ryan Gallagher 7. Right, so everything has been clear, uh, clear plastic primed. Um, the fenders there didn't really take to the clear too well. They're sort of dripping, so I'm gonna sort that out real quick. But it's all ready for a light dust coat. When painting plastic, you never go too heavy in one spot because it'll just drip straight away. It's, it's a prick to paint plastic, but... All right, so let's get to some paint and start, start the time lapse, Tom. So while those pieces of plastic are drying from their fresh coat of paint, we are going to try and put these headlights in. I don't know if we're going to wire them up today, unless they're just a plug and play, I don't really know yet. But these are an eBay light, they look pretty cool, they're really going to transform the front. And they've got the daytime LED which we can change. Um, pretty sure with our phone I can change the colour of that. So we do need to use the uh, brackets off these old lights here, so just going to pull them apart, whack these bad boys on, and then it's starting to look like a car again. It's been a long time since I've had headlights, so it'd be nice if I could wire them up too, it'd be cool. So we take off. Oh, yeah, about oh. that. No, it goes that way. All right, before we do that, I'm actually gonna paint this chrome lip because I think you are gonna see that. That's better, all black. I uh, even painted these. I've opted for the express install. That oh, really doesn't feel like it's in properly. So we got these wires here. Looks like. Oh, I don't know. These instructions are cooked. <laughs> Connect the red wire like AC fuse box DRL. Get this dog out of the way for a second. Are they directional? Yeah, hang on. I think I got yours and you got mine. Yeah, right. It's like what's going we're on. We're hell rookies, though. <laughs> hang on. But after this, we're headlight specialists now because we know, we know how it all works. Yeah. Do you want me to help you, me help you pull it off? Yes, please. Oh, you, you bent it. <laughs> oh, no, you bent it. Looks like Ryan's got that side back together. There you go, mate. Yeah, That's the clapped one. Jeez, look how bad that is. Horrible, eh? I reckon I know what's caused those brakes to fail so quickly is 
I got stuck in a mud pit out at Glasshouse. I was in there for like 20 minutes. And um, yeah, they obviously drum brakes, they fill up with dirt. And then you drive around, they just get worn out. So if you ever go through a mud pit, I really suggest if you don't want to do this is to take it back and pull the drums off and just pressure clean everything out. And uh, you'll be braking happily for days. Should be all fixed, mate, if you're on the job. Massive shout out to Ryan for helping. I'll put his instra up, go give him a follow. Open diff life. She's stopping. So that's spinning. Stopped on a dime, mate. So new shoes, rotors and pads and machine drums for the nav. What about the handbrake? Oh, and the handbrake. It's got I'll, a handbrake. I'll go show them, eh? I'll go show them. So the handbrake used to point to the northern star when I ripped it. Now it's on a nice angle there. It used to come up here. She just wasn't working, which is how I knew that there was sort of a problem. But Ryan's on the job, which means the problem's now gone. So we've got, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a big storm coming over. So um, it's even a cloud up there. What's he doing? All right, what are we doing? There's a storm coming over, so we're gonna have to, we've got so many cars here. We'll have a look at that. Bloody possible hail storm. That's it, we're just up there. It's just looking pretty black. It's coming over pretty quickly as the wind's picking up. So we're gonna have to try and get some cars away. You're gonna take your car back yeah. to yours. Try and hide it at the shops or something. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get the nav somewhere and then I gotta get the, get the work truck in. Get Bloody storms, raining on our parade, eh? Yeah. So we've got Alicia's car parked under cover over there. I mean the work truck and the patrol in there. We've got our two cars over in a server over there, me and Ryan. We'll have a look at it. It's basically right on top of it. Alright, just gotta wait it out. Looks awesome. I'm stoked with that. Eh? Don't scratch it. <laughs> oh, look my finger! <laughs> Now that I've done a couple, I'm fucking on a roll. Tom's had, Tom's done two. Isn't a couple and a two the same? No, I said now that I've done a couple, I'm on a roll. And then Tom's done two, so you've done the same amount. Isn't that what you were getting at? Yeah. <laughs> now that I've done a couple, I'm on a roll. I've done more than a couple now. That's what I'm saying. Uh. Yeah, he's lost the plot, didn't he? He's not making any sense. Right, so as that storm has sort of rolled over, we've just been tinkering away at it. Pretty much got the grill on, got the lights on. Pretty much they're wired up, but we just got to run one more wire to make the um, any any time lights work, whatever they're called. Got the blinkers on, all on the sides and one handle on. But it's looking pretty sick. I'm staring at it right now. What do you reckon, Ryan? Yeah, it looks good. Ryan's going to put the light on. We just gotta wire them up, but looks pretty sick. Definitely made it a lot better. And um, we just gotta hole saw this bonnet scoop out so we can get our snorkel going again, because otherwise if we hit water, it's gonna suck it in. 